Oh, yeah, man. X Defiant launching this week. I see the people. They're looking forward to it. The hype is building. I can't wait to play this amazing new free to play multiplayer. It's going to be awesome. Oh, no, they don't. No one gives a fuck about this game, bro. And if you do, you got to be smooth brain. There is no way in hell that this is any good of a game. There's no way in hell this lasts longer than two months. It's a watered down old call of duty and the best thing anyone can say about it which doesn't matter for someone like me because i'm an elite game and stub muffin athlete and i'd be pounding ass in the lobbies all day hashtag no homo straight ripping throats out scribe the ghost of fate i'm the call of duty stud muffin here bitch it's got no kill streaks it looks like shit it's trying to be some overwatch who the hell wants to play objective game modes anyways with a bunch of random dudes who don't know what they're doing anyways because the average iq nowadays is basically 85 if you're lucky a bunch of brain dead morons god let me go stand alone me wear my mask and get damn so much oh god glory to change world ending oh no bunch of dorks out here believe anything they're told by the media and the government oh yeah they gotta believe them i believe them yeah listen only a bunch of smooth brain morons are literally actually thinking x defines got some it's worse than modern day call of duty it's watered down the specialists are gimmicky it's got no kill streaks what in the fuck are we doing here it had a chance it did have a chance it had a chance when modern warfare 2 was so bad people wanted some old school running gun call of duty but but then Modern Warfare 3 came out, which is only Modern Warfare 2 DLC goes to fade, because Call of Duty innovates every year. That's right, every other Call of Duty from year to year was way different than the previous years. <laughs> Listen here, you fucking idiots. That's called sarcasm because every Call of Duty is a DLC of the previous one. They all look the goddamn same. I can't differentiate from 1999 to 2020, motherfucker. If you know what I'm saying, every Call of Duty is the same. It's goddamn game, goddamn shoot, goddamn chill streaks, goddamn perks, same shit, just repackaged differently. And you know what? X Defined is like a big bag of shit repackaged without any of the good stuff that Call of Duty is known for. And on top of that, the net code sucks. The servers suck. Hit the text is garbage. The movement's garbage. It feels like like a mobile game and it's free to play which is the only thing that is good about it. if they had to charge for this game which i would have to say you'd be the dumber than dirt if you actually were thinking about paying for this game could you imagine people would actually buy it i mean look at people buy call of duty every year wait what joke i buy it because call of duty is the best game ever enter my 10 percent g fuel net do my discount code i'm a fucking shill full of shit hypocrite loser yeah that's what's up Call of Duty, Mono for 3, is exponentially better. Listen, I know you guys got brain rot too. You believe everything you hear. Oh, Call of Duty sucks, Call of Duty sucks, Call of Duty sucks, Call of Duty sucks, Call of Duty sucks. Hey, that's not what you say, Ghost of Fate. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck. I got a job. I don't need no YouTube money, motherfucker. Oh, you're just having a good time free balling it. What do I care? I just say what I want to say, how I want to say it, but I'm going to say what I got to say right now, which is actually the truth of what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is this, you know what I'm saying? Is it Call of Duty Mono 3? It's the best Call of Duty in the past five years. Skill-based matchmaking, the fact you get your ass kicked, EOMMM, lobbies, all the nonsense, all excuses people make up nowadays and excuses I've made up for in the past. I'm going to have to come full-fledged, full honest. I'm telling you, I'm like an alcoholic, skill-based matchmaking, matchmaking anonymous right here telling you, listen, dudes, we're all making excuses for getting our ass ass kick getting beat down it's been going back for 17 years go watch old call of duty videos where people talked about the hit detection oh the servers i hit him 15 times he shot me twice now what do people do oh it's engagement optimization matchmaking where there is no patent anywhere you can find the world where it actually says in real time they fuck with hit detection bullet registration damage per bullet they deal with all kind of our stuff so don't get me wrong it's a bunch of greasy stuff it's greasy randy it's greasy but you know what it's the same shit different year call of duty's the best multiplayer first person shooter addictive game ever and everybody using vpns a bunch of beta males that can't handle skill-based matchmaking and actually being good at the game like me and yours truly the gameplay in front of you kicking ass taking names having a great time running a gun and not camping like a little pussy like mine with four two thunder now i'm saying donald trump going to jail yeah wait what no that made no sense Free Donald Trump. Joe Biden shits his pants. Yeah, I love it. Okay, RFK Jr.'s got some worm in his head that makes him, I don't know, mentally challenged. He said he ate part of his brain. I don't think I would vote for that guy ever again. Dude's an idiot. Maybe not. Maybe he's lost his mind. Maybe he's found it. Maybe he's went on a journey and now he's out here saying, like, trying to peddle some nonsense, like, X Defy. Listen, X Defy, guys. I can't wait to play it. Two months. Y'all be mad. You might be mad. Two months. Get mad. Two months. Be angry. But I hit the truth. I spit the facts. And that's what's going to happen. Two months. Game's dead. It's done. Even less than that. All you guys who are on it, like, oh, gobble, 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 suck it, deep dick style this game. Trust me. Y'all going to get mad at this video. Y'all going to tell me this and that. Leave a little whiny bullshit crybaby beta male comments down below. <laughs> no, 
Yeah, you shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm telling you right now. Two months, it's dead. Next year, Black Ops 6 comes out. Black Ops 5, I don't know, a bunch of morons are called through the community call for war. They don't know what they're talking about. We're all we're doing out here is just making shit up, trying to get views on our videos because no one wants to get a real job. I got a real job. I'm pointing that out right away. One of the things I'm doing YouTube, and my job is this, telling you the truth, telling you the facts, because your daddy ain't doing it. That's what he's doing. He's lying to you. He ain't doing a good job raising you. Or your dad went for milk, came back with nothing, and now you have to dip your Oils in water, son. But I'm the truth. It just takes a while for people to catch up, figure it out. Another thing I want to point out for all you mongoloids out there in the Call of Duty gaming uh, spectrum, on the spectrum, autistic people and whatnot who aren't picking up what I'm throwing down. Let me tell you something. Just because someone says something before doesn't mean they can't change their mind. That's called actually being an adult. That's actually being an alpha male. When you know you're wrong, when you were wrong, and you can admit to it. People that hold the same thoughts, the same ideas their whole entire life are nothing but fucking dummies beta males people change their mind when they get new information presented to them those that do not change their opinions or their minds are the biggest beta males in the world so i'm gonna tell you this and i'm gonna finish this video off i'm trying to stretch it out as long as i can i want this at eight minutes because then i can put multiple ads on it make some extra money then i don't have to work as much to facilitate my shitty youtube channel because you know why i'm a fucking stud i'm a man and gen z millennials are beta males who have no sense of humor and probably are partially mentally challenged i mean like you gotta see these people here free palestine queers for palestine meanwhile you'd be thrown off a building if you went to the Middle East and tried to pull that gay shit. Just saying, keeping a real pack in the steel, you all are a bunch of morons. I'm not uh, talking to a lot of you guys who are the part of the League Game Stuff Muffin Athletes. I'm talking to those who are going to find this video organically, unorganically through the YouTube algorithms if they, YouTube actually decides to push this out there, which it probably won't. This will get five or 6,000 views. So for those of you who are actually diehard Call of Duty League Game Stuff Muffin, Ghost of Eight subscribers who are probably the only ones going to see this video, ignore everything I said. It was directed towards all the mongoloid, smooth brain idiots out there who haven't quite catched up with what's going on in the world i love you though ghost of eight here talking to my elite gaming stub muffin goldcock fam the rest of these people out here they can go pound sand be cool stay in school say no to drugs look both ways before cross the street help prevent forest fires make sure to brush and floss regularly to help promote healthy oral hygiene and last but not least eight minutes boom did it but really most importantly stay black question authority and don't let the honey cracker titty shape shift just building with his heart spank just someone was in a job to draw seven up being more as fat moves fake owls will hit for the father's gay white man Bring your motherfuckers down. Peace out, bitch.